This month's edition of Lakefield Kids in Government is sponsored by the city's communications department. Either by print, cable, Facebook, or tweet, the communications department keeps you informed about city news and happenings. Hey, look at that. Some of my buddies from the city are tree trimming. Hey, they're doing a great job. They're getting the small branches. They're pruning up some of the bigger branches. And you know what they're doing next? They're doing bits, hits, 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 hits. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's time for the Lakeville Government Channel's Kids in Government program. Kids in Government, yeah! <laughs> On today's show, join Justin Beaver as he interviews new city council member, Luke Hellier. On how'd they do that, Mary Utter discovers what velocity patching is. Walking with Louie, has Louie the dog finding out about a new off-road bike course here in Lakeville. Tools with Hank the Hog, this month the Baconator finds out if a new lift used by the fleet division can lift a fire engine. And don't forget to watch our Puppet Blooper segment, Lake Force Team HD News Update, an all-new Quizzical Quiz, and Kids Quick Tips throughout the show. And I'm Roger Mildewstain, your announcer. And now, here's the host of Kids and Government, R.R. the Raccoon! <laughs> Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Lakeville Kids and Government. I'm R.R. the Raccoon, your congenial host, here in our program, where we take a humorous and educational look at how government works. Hey, we're coming to you from Orchard Lake Park this month. Hey, we got a great show in store for you this month, so let's get right to it. Let's join Hank the Hog for this month's edition of Tools! Take it away, you pig. Tools! With a real for tools and I'm here at the fleet maintenance area and joining me this month is fleet supervisor Bob Lasina. How you doing today Bob? Good Hank, how are you today? Very good, I'm very excited. I understand you have a cool new tool for me. What are we going to look at this time? We have portable truck lifts and equipment lifts. Uh -huh. They can lift anything we got. Anything? Well what are we going to lift today? Today we're going to lift a fire truck. <laughs> A fire truck? You gotta be kidding me! No, big fire truck. Oh, this should be awful cool. Bob, I can't wait. Let's go take a look. Okay. Thank you so much for showing me this cool thing. I can't believe they lifted that huge fire truck. Anytime, Hank. All right, well, thanks a lot for all your help doing tools here, Bob, and uh, I understand you're retiring, right? 
Well, that's what they say, soon. Yeah, well, good luck in the future, Bob, and thank you so much for helping out on our episodes of Tools! Hey, it's been a pleasure. That's right, and you were kind of a ham, too, you know that? Oh, thanks, Nick. Thanks, <laughs> Sorry about the bacon smell, but that's what happens when I start to sweat. <laughs> we'll see you next time, everyone, on Tools. Hello there, everyone. It is I, Super Pizza Man, here for this month's Kids Quick Tip. Did you know that the population of Lakeville is 60,633? This number comes to me from the U.S. Bureau of Census with information gathered in 2015. And with all the building we are going through here in the city, that number is just going to keep going up and up, which means there will be more people eating more and more pizza! <laughs> up, up, and away! Hey everyone, our other raccoon back here and joining me here at the RV dump site is utility supervisor Shane. How are you doing today, Shane? Good, how are you? Good, hey, we're just outside of the water treatment facility and I'm trying to find out what is the RV dump site here in the city? Well, it's a service we provide for uh, citizens of Lakeville so they can come and dump their RV campers and stuff, dump the water out of there. Very good. And do we have just one? Or obviously by the sign here, it says number two. So you must have two sites here. There's two sites. There's one right here and one down just a couple hundred feet there. Great. Now, oh. can citizens still do this? You know, it's still kind of towards the winter weather season. Can they still come up and use this surface? Yes, they can dump all year round and we just keep the water on just during the summer months. Very good. And when do you turn the water on for rinsing? Uh, pro it'll probably get turned on in April and then get shut off again in October. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much for explaining the service that the city provides to our citizens, Shane. You're welcome. And you guys can watch this here on Kids in Government. <laughs> Everyone, it is I, Louie the dog, here for walking <laughs> with Louie, and I'm out here near Casperson Park, and I'm waiting for Park and Rec Director John Hennon to roll up because he has some exciting biking information to tell me about. And, oh, hey, look it! I think I see John over there. Here he comes. Louie, what's up, dog? Hey, pretty good. Hey, nice set of wheels, man. Hey, what you doing out here? Well, you know, I just came out for a little bike riding because we are going to be building an off-road bike course here on West Lake Marion Park. You're kidding. Well, tell me about it. How many acres? How big and who can use it? Well, everyone can use it. And we were approached by the Lakeville Cycling Association, a group of great guys, and they said, hey, we need to build an off-road bike course. So we started planning within the last year, worked with our Park and Rec and Natural Resources Committee and came up with a spot out at West Lake Marion Park. When it's completed, we'll be have about five miles of trail, about a mile for beginners, a couple miles for the intermediate, and a couple miles for the advanced course. Now the big question, can dogs go on it? No. No? No, unless you have a bike. Oh. <laughs> I'd have to be highly trained, so I better just stick to the dog park over in Ritter Farm Park, eh? I would stay, yep, I'd go to the dog park, Ritter Farm, that's a good one, that's a good place to go. Very good, now if people are interested in getting involved and finding more information, where can they go, John? They could contact the city, look at our website, or they can contact uh, Lakeville Cycling Association, their website is lakevillecycling.org. Excellent. Well, John, thank you so much for your time, and hey, you better get going. Thanks, Louie. Yeah, Talk thanks you for your time. Later, man. Be, be careful out there. Oh, yeah. Hey, and we'll see you next time, folks, on Walking with Louie. Let's see how he does. <laughs> Thank you.
from southwestern central Dakota County. In other words, Lakeville. This is a Lake Force Team HD 360 degree non-action news update with Ted Pickle. Hello everyone, Ted Pickle reporting. And now the news presented in the wonder of 360 degrees. It's that time of year once again that you might find yourself driving and see a pothole in the street. Well, have no fear, the City of Lakeville Streets Division can help by calling the Pothole Hotline at 952-985-2710. You can alert staff of the location of this unwanted pothole. You can also report a pothole on the city's website. Winter parking restrictions are still in effect. The City of Lakeville's Winter Parking Ordinance is designed to help promote public safety and allow for efficient snow removal. The ordinance prohibits on-street parking between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. daily from November 1st to April 1st each year. And finally, want to see your government in action? If so, you can attend the twice-monthly City Council meetings. The Council meets the first and third Monday of each month at City Hall starting at 7 p.m. These meetings are broadcast live on LGTV and the rebroadcast can be seen on Charter Cable Channel 180 and on the City's website at lakevillemn.gov. This has been a Lake Force Team HD award-winning 360-degree non-action news update. I'm Ted Pickle. everyone, our other raccoon out and about here in Lakeville. And, hey, look behind me. If I didn't know better, I'd say that is Ann Messerschmidt, Environmental Resource Specialist. How you doing, Ann? Hey, R.R. Good, how are you? Good, what's going on? Well, I just decided to go and pick up some trash for Earth Day. Oh, well, hey, Earth Day is just around the corner. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, April 22nd, we're going to celebrate it here in Lakeville with the Watershed Cleanup Day and the Earth Day celebration. Wow, and, and can anybody be part of this celebration? Absolutely, anybody can come. If you want to help pick up trash, that kind of happens from 9 to 11. And if you want to just come to the Earth Day celebration, that happens from 11 to 1 at the Central Maintenance Facility. Cool, well, what's happening from 11 to 1? We have lots of cool um, education stations that people can check out. We're going to have big equipment there this year for people to get up close and climb around on. We're gonna have Climb Theater there doing some um, very specific uh, recycling information and all sorts of different educational activities and the Zoomobile. Oh, cool. Well, if someone wants more information, how do they find out about Earth Day this year, Ann? Yeah, you can either give us a call at 952-985-4500 or check on the calendar and uh, there's some information there on how to sign up and details. Cool. Well, you better get back to picking up the garbage there. I think yeah. you missed a couple spots. And you guys can watch this up next here on Kids in Government. Hey, everyone. It's me, Justin Beaver, here in my beaver den. And joining me is Council Member Lou Kellier. How are you doing today, Lou? Good, Justin. Good to be here. Thank you. Oh, well, thanks for coming in. And, you know, i got to apologize. The beaver den's a little messy this morning. It's okay. Yeah, I'm supposed to be hibernating, you know. <laughs> well, okay, let's get right to the question. What made you want to be on the Lakeville City Council? Well, Justin, I moved to Lakeville in sixth grade. And so I got to grow up when Lakeville was a lot smaller to than today. And so I have two daughters, and I really wanted Lakeville to have that small town community that I was a part of So when they grew up as well. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to have my voice heard as we move forward. Excellent. Now, what do you do when you're not being uh, a member of the city council? Well, I think the most important job that I have when I'm not on the city council is really being a dad to my two daughters. I have two girls, Betty, who's almost four, and Annie, who's a year and a half. And they are uh, a full-time job. Um, and I just, uh, they're the light of my world, so. Awesome, that's a great answer. Well, hey, speaking of kids, let's get to some kid-friendly questions. You bet. What is your favorite food? Um, oh, geez. 
You know, favorite food to make at home would probably be hamburgers because they're easy. Mm -hmm. And anything that I can smoke in my smoker. Smoking meats. Yeah, there <laughs> yeah. you go. Smoking meats. Very good. Now, do you have a favorite singer or band? Um, well, I listen to a lot of Disney music when we're in the car with the kids. But Eric Church, who's a country singer, is probably my favorite musician. Oh, come on a minute. You love to listen to Beauty and the Beast soundtrack when you're cruising downtown, right? <laughs> Usually. <laughs> <laughs> How about a book? You got a book? Are you into reading? Um, you know, I like a lot of Berenstain Bears and Dr. Seuss and Shel Silverstein. Uh, but my favorite book, actually, is called The Last Lecture, and it's by a guy by the name of Randy Pausch. And he gave a talk. Uh, at a university where he was a professor and gave advice to uh, being a good dad. And so I think that's really important. You know, I think we see a pattern going on here. Your kids and your family is very important to you. Is they're, that right, Luke? They're very important. Very good. Now, how about a movie? Do you have a favorite movie? Oh, geez. Oh, favorite movie, I'd have to say today would be Top Gun. Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah, that's a good one. It yeah, is. that's it's a, good a one. classic. Hey, do you have a uh, favorite quote from that movie? Um, how about. Maverick, you're reckless. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a pretty good one. How about an app? Are you are you into technology, Luke? Uh, my favorite app would be Instagram, because that way I get to keep uh, up in touch with my friends and family and see uh, their kids grow and see what things that they're eating and all the fun activities from time to time. Now, Luke, if you had a kid that wanted to grow up and be a city council member, what advice would you give he or she? Well, a couple things. One, you want to be involved in your community. You want to be a volunteer and, and help out the people you care about. And then the other two important things are to be honest and trustworthy. And if you can do those things, people will respect you and support you if you want to be in the city council. All right, here's another serious question, Luke. Do you have a hero or someone from history that influenced you or you admire? Yes, Justin, I do. Yep. And I think the uh, person I admire the most from history would be Abraham Lincoln. He was oh. our president. And before I uh, moved to Lakeville, I lived in Illinois. And so I, I lived for a long time in President Lincoln's hometown in Springfield. Nice. And so I grew up respecting him as Honest Abe. And so I think if you follow in Lincoln's footsteps, you cannot do wrong. Nice. Very good. Very good. All right. We're getting back to some silly questions here. Okay. Do you have a useless talent that you can share with us? <clears throat> yeah. Ready? Okay. Watch, watch real close. Okay. I'm watching. I can wiggle my ears. Uh-oh. See? see? See it? Oh, I can. Look at that. <laughs> wow, that is a useless talent. That's pretty good. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. All right, final question for you, Luke. You bet. If you could be an animal, what kind of animal would you be and why? Um, I would probably be a gorilla because I think gorillas are as family-oriented as people are. And so, as I said, my kids mean a lot to me. So I think being a gorilla would be an animal I would be if I... If I could be an animal. Very good, very good. Well, Luke, I want to thank you so much for your time today, and I wish you the best of luck with your time here on Lakefield City Council. Thank you, Justin. You bet. And we'll see you next time, folks. I better clean up this uh, beaver den. It's a mess. <laughs> Thanks again, Luke. You're welcome. Mary Utter here for another edition of How'd They Do That? And today we're at the Central Maintenance Facility and we're going to find out the modern 21st century way that the city street division patches potholes. It's called velocity patching. Let's find out how they do that. this velocity patching story to bring you this LKG special report. A truck has just arrived at the city's central maintenance facility with the delivery of salt. This salt is placed on icy roadways by snow plows and used during the winter weather season. This has been an LKG special report. Now back to our regularly scheduled velocity patching segment.
is velocity patching, and I hope you now know how they do that. So until next time, this is Mary Otter, and we'll see you next time on How They Do That, folks. Move over, everybody. <laughs>80 miles of roadways and more than 500 cul-de-sacs. Well, it does. Before someone told me that cul-de-sacs were those round dead-end circles, I thought they were a delicious dessert made from pizza. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Up, up, turn away. Well, folks, that's it for another edition of Lakeville Kids in Government. If you have questions on any of the information we've covered, please feel free to give us a call. Our studio line is 952-985-4418, and you can watch this show and all the shows here on LGTV online at lakevillemn.gov. Hey, we had a great show for you. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. So this is our The Red Coon, and we'll see you next time, everyone, on Lakeville Kids in Government. Goodbye, everybody! This month's edition of Lakefield Kids in Government is sponsored by the city's communications department. Either by print, cable, Facebook, or tweet, the communications department keeps you informed about city news and happenings.